Today, we'll be looking at using Qubit Bloom. It's a quantizer and arpeggiator. It's a pretty simple technique, but I think you guys could get a lot of use out of it. First, let's talk about using Bloom as a transposable quantizer. First, we could hear the sequence coming out of my PAMs here. I just have a random sequence. Let's hear what that sounds like in the oscillator. Not very good. So we want to quantize that. So with Bloom, the first thing we want to do is take our pattern and reset it or clear it. Bring our length all the way down to one. And then we have our root, path, branches, mutations, and clock knob all the way down. So we're only hitting that one note constantly. Let's see what that sounds like in the oscillator. So, we could use our root to adjust our note. We could do the same thing with our CV from PAMS because it tracks at volt per octave. And then we could select the scale with the scale knob. Right now it's at a major, we go minor. Pentatonic major. Oops. Pentatonic minor. Or harmonic minor. And then we have whole note and unquantized, where we really don't want those. And then at the top, we have chromatic. And then we can transpose the entire sequence by just turning the root knob. Going from the quantization, we can turn that into arpeggiation with Bloom. Now here I have a clock coming from PAMS going into the clock input of Bloom. You can see here, well it's not doing anything right now because we're just at one length. Let's go to six because I have triplets going right now. So we can see it's just repeating there. So if I put this into the oscillator, you can hear, our little sequence here, but we don't want a sequencer, we put one in our arpeggiator. What we do is take our CV bolt per octave into the root. And then we take our gate and put that into an envelope with a splitter. And we also split it into the reset here. So anytime we hit our note, it's going to start at the beginning of the sequence. I also need to run a gate out of the sequencer here into an envelope. So we need a two-stage VCA here, one to control the sequencer and then one to control our keyboard. So now that I have this all hooked up here, you can hear it's always playing the sequence right at the beginning. And we have our arpeggiation. We can add our CV offset to it. We can then also, like most arpeggiators, play with the order here. So we get to go forward, we can go backwards. The only thing with this is, it always starts at 1 with the pattern, so it won't start down here when we reset it. It'll start back at 1 and then go down. Go to a pendulum where we would want to add an extra note length for that back note. Or 
we could just go random. Another trick we could do with this arpeggiator is cancel out certain notes to create more interesting rhythmic arpeggiations. And that's it for this patch tip on using Qubit Bloom as a quantizer and arpeggiator.